Nikki here. Kelly here. And we have a book talk video today. Which are my favorite. Oh yes. It's been so long since we've done a book talk video. But I think the benefits of a book talk video are astronomical because you get six book reviews, super quick book reviews, all in one video. And you don't have to waste time because we're going to tell you some good books to read. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you're looking for a new book to read, um, here's six of them. We got them for you. Boom. You want to go first? Me. Okay. First up is <laughs> The Leaving by Tara Alta Brando. Uh, ooh, what a name. And this book, who you guys want to talk about a thriller and a stuck on the edge of your seat while you're reading a book. That is this book. This whole, so basically six kids go missing, only five come back, and they come back 16 years later. Oh my gosh. They come back 11 years later. They come back 11 years later, so they're kidnapped when they're five. They oh come my back when gosh. They're 16. And only five come back. So, they also would like to mention these are three books that I have not read that she's read, and three books that I've read that she hasn't read. So, I don't know what the heck's going on here. I'm going to have to read that book. It is so good. Um, so, they're dropped off at a park, and they, have, they just have random clues on them. Um, they each have a map to their house. Um, so like they go, they go home, they don't remember anything about anything. And what are the clues so for to find the other person or where they've been? To, kind of just to like piece together what happened the last 11 years. Like one kid has a tattoo on him. Oh my um, gosh. one girl swallowed something. So it's just really weird. Like there's just a lot of stuff going on and they're really trying to solve what happened to the sixth kid. Um, they grew up together, you know, they're all like that's all that they had was each other so they're really trying to figure out what happened so does it wrap up yes this so is, is a standalone. standalone yes it wrapped up really really can good. you leave that book i'm gonna read it next okay that's so, what i'm gonna start today the back of it says six were taken five came back 11 years ago six kindergartens went missing without a trace oh my god i'm gonna start that tonight and when i was reading this i noticed there's six swings and then one of them is broken <gasps> Is it, it is heartbreaking? so good. Is it heartbreaking? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. And it's like, you literally read it so fast. Like, it is such a, you can't put it down. I'm really so can't. excited. Is this young adult? Mm-hmm. Oh and my it's gosh. really cool because it's from each of the five kids' point, point of view. view. Yeah, oh. so like, Scarlet, who's my favorite. Thank she, you for giving me my new book idea. You're welcome. You see, this is why we do book, <laughs> book talk videos. And... This whole book is only, I think it's like day, it's only eight days long. Oh. It goes through eight days of them. So the only part that I really struggled with, nope, day 11, it goes through 11 days, 11 years. So the only part that I struggled with was the ending. Okay, don't. don't I'm not going to give away too much, but I just want to see how you guys all feel about the ending. I'll let so you know. Have to let me know. So here you go, Kelly. Thank you, darling. Thank you. So that is the all right so um my first book i know is it beautiful oh yeah and it's pink my favorite color it's a pink mask so the next so the book that i read is called the bells by danielle clayton i believe i said that right i freaking loved this book guys loved it it's so you have sisters of sorts and once they reach a certain age, they are presented to the kingdom. And the kingdom chooses one of those sisters to... So these girls can remake you. Every human is born and they are not pretty. They have... A, I read this book a few months ago, actually. My husband got this for me for Valentine's Day, Aww. I want to say. So I'm just going to... Oh, I remember gonna, that now. Yeah. When you're born, I want to say you're orange or something or like you're brown. physically the color orange okay so it starts out yeah so it's all coming back to me now mm -hmm. so it's like a story of the gods this god fell in love with this beautiful woman and all she cared about was her children and so out of his anger he cursed all the children to look super ugly and she found like a back doorway to get to it i'm gonna loophole loophole and she um she she blessed the world with bells and they can make you pretty it doesn't last forever so you always have to you have to have it redone 
Um, you can it, it can rewind time, make you look That's younger, awesome. but you can't go back too far. So there are laws in effect, and so and it's a beautiful book. So um, and there's some super secrets and and some scandal, and so um, it's just been so long since I read it. Camille Beergard Isabel. In the opulent world of Orleans, bells are revered for their control of beauty, and beauty is a commodity. So, you have to pay a lot of money, so not everybody can do it either. So, it's just, look at that book. It's beautiful. God, it's gorgeous. What does it look like naked? Oh, yeah, let's look at it. I want to say it's white. Yep. Oh, look. Ooh, with hot yeah. pink. Can't go wrong with hot pink and white. I really liked this book. I want to say, I think... Free forms, does that mean it's going to be on... TV? Freeform book. Interesting. Look on here too. It's what? Freeform. So I don't know a lot about Freeform. I know they are an awesome TV channel that does The Siren, which I really love. I wonder and if they're going to make it a show. I don't know. Or Interesting. Or if they have like a whole book thing going on too. I don't know. The book is beautiful. The story was good. I want to say I only rated it four, but four is still freaking good. So yeah. I really liked it. Um... Oh, yeah, the leaving was five. Five? Oh, nice. If you couldn't tell. And this was, I want to say four, but I really liked it. So, I didn't really give a lot of information about that book, but... I mean, I feel like it's I... It's a long time since I read it. I just picked it up off the shelf. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. So, next up, I have Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls by Lynn Wingarten. I'm sure I just butchered that, so I'm sorry. Um, so, this book was insane. Uh, this Sounds is another sad. thriller. Do I have that book? I don't think so. Yeah, Letters to the Dead. Oh, yes. That's Love a good Letters book to too. the Dead. Did you read it? Uh, Love Letters to the Dead? I haven't read it, I don't think. No, I haven't. I know I haven't. So this follows two best friends. Well, okay, so it follows one girl, her best friend. Um, there's rumors going around that she committed suicide, that she burnt herself, but she doesn't believe it. She thinks she was murdered. So the first half of the book, she is solving her best friend's murder. Um, so it says, they say Deliah burned herself to death in her stepfather's shed. They say it was suicide, but June doesn't believe it. Oh my gosh. So it follows a really, really unhealthy relationship. Like, the friendship is super toxic. Um, basically, she is, like, in love, like, infatuated with Deliah. And Deliah, like, completely controls her. Like, it's a really, really unhealthy friendship. Um, and so this entire time that she's solving her death and she's finding more out about Delia. she's also like healing herself and she's becoming her own person because she was just Delia's pet and Ooh. so she's finding herself when all this is happening there is a big twist that I'm not going to tell you about and it happens about mid of the book and you're just like I don't even I can't I don't even know what to do with my life anymore mm. so definitely I gave it five stars loved it I'm pretty sure I finished this one in a day Nice. Um, super fast paced, super good, and it's not as tragic as it sounds. I promise. It sounds horrifying. But it's <laughs> it's definitely like what? Okay. The whole way through. I'll have to read that one too. My next book. Just stop everything <laughs> you're doing. If you haven't read Caravel, read Caravel so that you Why can read this. Why did I start I don't know. Oh my God! It's because you told me to. You told me to read. Inbo. I know. I read this. Maybe you should read. This I have to go buy it first. Book <laughs> is ten stars. I Caravel's ten stars do. Caravel's ten stars. These books. Do we even do an individual video for Caravel? Yeah. Uh, I don't even know why we're not devoting a month to these books. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You better grab Caribou too. Just so we can show you how beautiful they are together. So. <laughs> oh my god! Yes! Come on! So, Nikki got me this beautiful pillow for my birthday because obviously I fell so in love with Caribou. I'm going to get so many tattoos. I don't even know how I'm going to afford it. So, you have to read this book so that you can enjoy this book. And it doesn't even matter because the first book is amazing. Also, I, I read book, the first book and I loved it. The, so first I book, that. the first book is epic. The second book is even better. Dude, this is a sticker. I know, but we're not unsticking Oh, yet. no, we're not. 
I think it's because they want you to stick she it in the book. She used her hand to write her name. Yeah. That's Misty the same gave hand us this. That she used to write the book. Yeah. Mm. Yes, thank you, Misty. So, the first book follows Scarlet. I love her. The second book follows her sister. And what? Yes, we find out who Legend is in this book. Because you don't find out who Legend is in the first book. You do find out who Legend <laughs> is in this book. Closure! But there's going to be another. I get so freaking excited. I need to book? calm down. There's going to be a third book. Oh, yeah. Because it's called. Because they don't. It's called like Encore. On a uh, finale. Finale. And I have to wait a whole year for it. This is madness you see in my eyes. <laughs> this book has to be purchased. And you have to get it all tattooed all over your back. The whole book. The whole so, book. The whole book. I have to go buy it now, so yes. I can't pay rent this month because I just bought Legendary. You just bought a Legendary. And I just can't. So the sisters go to another night of Caravel, another episode of Caravel. So they just, and it picks up right where it ends. No, it does. So they're oh, good, still good, good, good. at the same place that it ended. That it ended. And it, it starts out, I just... <laughs> Can't. You have to read both the books. Okay, if you ever read it, I'm just going to let this go or I'll talk for hours. Caravel was amazing. Caravel was amazing. I Legendary can't. is even better. <laughs> ten stars. That's a ten star book. Ten star book. Carry on. <laughs> so next up is, um, I give this one four stars. <laughs> Don't really know why we're talking anymore since we just... <laughs> That. We just showed you the best book in the world. Let's <laughs> just move on, folks. <laughs> oh, I'm so, kidding. This one is A Lion in the Dark by Moran, Mar Melinda Lowe. I remember when you bought this book. I, because it, it was, was super I loved creepy looking. it. Yeah, super I love how looking. sinister it looks and all that. And, and I remember when you started it, you thought, oh, I don't really like it. But then you did. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. So I didn't really understand the cover. Still don't. Hmm. Um, it's avant-garde. But it is a very good book. Weird, but good. So basically it's a mystery. Um, it's a thriller. You're trying to figure out who... Basically it's like a giant game of Clue. Where were you when this happened and who did what oh, big thing happened nice. in this book? So she's remembering back to night, a night that she doesn't quite remember all the way. She's piecing together... Um, having to solve this big mystery. Um, yep. I gave it four stars. And it might have been three stars, but I'm pretty sure it was four stars. So, so yes. would you recommend people reading it? Yes. I, I really enjoyed it. I did. I just, I was a little disappointed because of the cover. That's the only thing that I had. And you bought it because it was so mm -hmm. cool looking. It has so. nothing to do with, I don't know what Aww. that black stuff is. I, I don't know either because I haven't read it. So. I don't know what a line in the dark is. <laughs> but yes, I did give it four stars because I did end up loving it. Next! <laughs> My book is also another ten star book! Strange the Dreamer. Elaine Taylor is amazing. Oh my god, guys. I can't even... I can't even start. So... I read the um, the Daughter of Smoke and Bone first, and they were super amazing. So, of course, I bought this. And, I, and it's an odd name, Strange the Dreamer, but it turns out that's his name. So his name is Strange. So we're literally saying Strange the Dreamer. So he's a librarian. He's an orphan librarian. That sounds beautiful. It's great. And he's becoming himself in the story. So when it starts, he's like stringy hair, tall, skinny. You know, hides in his robe because like a monk too. Because he's an orphan <laughs> monk, librarian. Loves books. Oh my gosh. We're like brother and sister. <laughs> so, then, uh, I can't... Okay, so, he goes on a mission. And it's, it's insane how he even gets chosen for the mission because he's practically invisible. And whenever... This is supposed to be where all the smart people are. And so, this other country comes in and they're like, we need some help. Basically, um, the gods came and took over their town and they, it turned into a bloody war. I can't, there's so much to say about this. 
basically the town needs scientists, smart people, because the war's over. They've killed all the gods, and um, but there's this massive thing that just hovers above their city, and so there's no daylight because it's just it's covering the whole city. Oh, wow. They can't grow crops. And they're like, why don't you just move? And, and there's reasons why they won't move. And, and so you have magic. You have everything. A love story. Oh, my God. A librarian. Um, it's that picture there with the blue girl with the red hair. And that's strange. You can't see it. But go look up fan art for Strange the Dreamer. It's amazing. And if you just look at the fan art, you're going to know, oh, my God, i got to read this book. So possibly that thing, it's in the sky, they didn't kill all the gods. And there are children still living up there. But the, the humans have no way to get to it, which is why they need all the scientists. One, they need to get to it. Two, they need to figure out how to get it to float away because there's like these massive anchors, but they're not attached by string. It's magic. But there's anchors in their city that anchors the, the, the large thing above the city. I I read this a couple of years ago, I think. No, not that long ago. ago. A year ago. I don't know. The the second one is, like, getting ready to come out. You read it right after you read... um, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Mm. which was a year ago. I read it it? it last year when I was on vacation. I let August. So I probably read this in September or October. And Lainey Taylor's amazing, She's so amazing. She's so talented. I don't even know why she's not more famous. Oh, I know. And why we don't have more stories by her. Because she is amazing. She, remember I told you, she weaves a tail. Like, the phrase, weaving a tail, I get it now because I've read this book. She made that statement. She is the reason that is a statement. This lady weaves a tail. So, if you haven't read this book, you have to read it. And I didn't do this justice. I get so excited sometimes and I forget (laughs) stuff and... And, and if you haven't read The Daughter of Smoke and Bone, you need to read that, too, oh my because gosh, that, like, that yeah. is so amazing, too. And I do, she has a couple of other little stories, and so I need to read those. I haven't yeah, read those Yeah, the second yet. book is out. Not yet. Not yet? It's in my cart. I'm ready for it. It is not Muse, out yet. Muse of, Muse of Nightmares. Muse of Nightmares. I love nightmares. I, <laughs> anyways. I love <laughs> she loves the darkness. So you, <laughs> you just have to read this book. And it's beautiful. So look at that. And it's a big one, too. A big one. They're, all of her books are big. You better sit down. You better get you a nice big old cup of coffee because you're going to be there for a while. Read the back. That back part. On the second Sabbath of the twelfth moon in the city of Weep, a girl fell, fell from the sky. Her skin was blue and her blood was red. I got goosebumps. I died in that part. <laughs> I died. That doesn't happen until the end. I'm just done. Look how beautiful those are. I know. Look how beautiful all those books are. She did such a good job. She did, Lenny Taylor. I, I love, love you. Her. You are so amazing. We just need to do like one video with all her books. Oh, we need a Lenny Taylor video. Yes. Well. There's so many authors we need to do I a video for. Lee Bardugo. So many books. So many beautiful books. Okay, well, we'll just stop because this is going to get tragic. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.